video, we're going to set up a transparent proxy that would be used as your uh, client's workstation's gateway. Um, it'll just pull off the network the uh, port 80 and 443 packets um, in in a in a style that would uh, break a man in the middle attack if you like the SSL connection or TLS connection out to the internet. Um, so it uh, there's a connection established between the browser and the firewall. It's uh, then terminated, then inspection can happen or antivirus, and then it's re-established out to the intended target. The first thing we need to do is go to the package manager. And you'll notice that I've already installed the squid package. And we go to, uh, now we need to go to the certificate manager and we need a new CA. So we'll call this Adric CA, why not? All the rest is fine. We are in Australia. South Australia, Adelaide. Uh, we are Adjix and we are IT. Hit save. Now if we go to services and squid proxy, first thing you need to do is go into local cache and hit save. It must initialize something. I'm not sure why you have to do that, but you do. This can take a little while to do its thing, but eventually it will. Okay, now we go to general, enable, enable, select the interface that you want to do the transparent, uh, the transparent proxying on here as well. You can see SSL interception or TLS, it should say interception is already enabled. That's excellent. Uh, we need to specify our CA that we just created and we should have enough there that we can hit save. Okay, let's go to antivirus. Antivirus is already enabled, which is excellent news. Uh, we don't need to, uh, we do need to hit update. And I believe there's a warning, uh, only do this once, um, otherwise you can cause trouble. Um, and at that point we are done. So uh, give it a try. You have to use this, like I said, as your gateway. It's, you can't specify this as a proxy, or at least that's not how a transparent proxy works. And you should also go and download a test virus. You can just Google test virus and download it. You can download the HTTP and the HTTPS version and both should be detected as a virus. And that should indicate that your setup is working fine. You do need to tell the, or somehow instruct the clients, the web browsers that are going to go through the transparent proxy, that they can trust the PFSense um, so that when you surf the web, uh, you won't get uh, trust issues with um, your, your browser and the, and the certificate presented by the PFSense. So if we go to system cert manager and the certificate or the CA that we've already created, if we click on this download or the export and hit save and OK. Now we import that using group policies or distributing that certificate some other way into the browsers of the workstations. And that way the browsers will trust the PFSense and the PFSense can do the mean in the middle um, as it's intended to do and you won't get any trust issues or um, warnings with the, um, the padlock not being green. Wonderful, thank you very much.